Kenny Johnson with Dallas Cowboy, Texas A&M legend, Kevin Puck Smith. Kevin, give us some insight on fantasy football. What's your take on fantasy football? Well, I, I love it. I've, I've actually played it the last three years, you know, but my biggest deal is uh, the group I play. Actually, I play with the coaches from West Orange Stark. Earl Thomas is a part of, him and his brother Seth is a part of the group that we play with. But I missed the draft every year. So luckily though, last year I ended up because he wasn't as hot at first with Carson Wentz and I had Deshaun Watson. But we both know what happened to both of those quarterbacks. They got hurt and they were out. So the, my biggest deal is I miss, I hate what I miss the off weeks and you know, and, and forget to substitute the players. You know, so I'm, I'm kind of an average player. I want to win though, but I'm just kind of an average player because I don't, I'm not detailed to it. And you got to be detailed if you really want to win, man. Speaking of details, what do you think about that detail with they making bad legal all across the country? How do you think that's going to impact sports as a whole, especially well, football? I mean, I think it's going to, uh, you know, it, it, may, it may kill Vegas a little bit as far as people visiting. You know, you don't have to go to Vegas and place those bets, but, you know, you, you had a lot of... Uh, you know, you had a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, illegal shops. You know, now they can, you know, it's, it's a way to generate uh, tax. They can tax the, uh, you know, the, the bets, and it's a way to make some money. Uh, you know, I'm not really huge in betting on games. I've never really done it before. I'm not, I don't really know the philosophy of it. But uh, I, I think it's going to make a big impact. It's a lot of money going to be exchanged in this deal. You think we may have a scam with somebody like, um, saving some points sooner or later at the professional level? I, you think it's not, I mean, I, hope, I, hope, I don't want... I don't want to even go down that road, you know, you don't want to even think that that's happening because, you know, it's happened before in, you know, in, in different sports and, you know, especially college basketball is probably one that sticks out more, um, you know, Arizona State deal and, uh, you know, you go back in the 70s, they had other uh, deals, but, you know, I don't, I, I would hope that that wouldn't be the case, you know, uh, you know, gambling has been around, I mean, the points has been out since Jimmy the Greek was yelling at when I was when we were younger. So um, I never understood it then. But Do people talk about it, like in the locker room and stuff. I mean, well, I don't know. I don't, when I played, guys didn't know what over, under, minus, plus. You never saw that. You know, you, in college, uh, I, I, I would hear a few of the guys talking about it. You know, some of the college, uh, uh, not teammates, but the guys that I went to school with that really wasn't really athletes, and they would say, "Hey, man, is such and such going to play today?" Or is you know, is is the fullback healthy? Or is, who? So I never thought that. Why they were asking me who was going to play or not meant how they placed their bet. So, uh, but I, mean, I want to say, man, I don't want to. I would love to know or think that no one is, you know, changing, altering the games. And that's, and that's from the referees, the players, on down. You know. Yeah. Final question: The over under for your Cowboys is eight point five games. Do you think they go over or under in two thousand eighteen? Well, the Cowboys. The thing about the Cowboys is uh, they're young. They only got three players over thirty years old. They got uh, Sean Lee, which you know if he can keep stay healthy. Uh, we got uh, the, the kicker Bailey is thirty one, I think, and then the long snapper. So outside of that, they're young. They're real young, and uh, you know the, the question is going to be. They, they, they may need to. Jason Garrett is not young. He's been there a while, and the coaching staff, you know, part of the coaching staff has been there a while. So there's some expectations uh, of them, you know, uh, you know, eight or nine games is probably what uh, ten games is what Jason's gonna need. Or if not, they're gonna have to start off with a whole new coaching staff, a new young coaching staff with that young team. But I can see the Cowboys, you know, maybe not this year, but in a couple of years, they're going to be a young Seattle team because they're so young. If they can keep it together and gel together, it's going to be pretty good. You know, they didn't go over that 8.5? I think they can get over 8.5. I think they can, it, the season could go, you know, it depends on the health. You know, and if the offense starts to tick, we got to we got to find out who's going to be, uh, that receiver's core has got to come step up. I think the defense will be pretty solid. But uh, offensively, you know, Zeke is going to be Zeke, Dak is going to be Dak, and we got to figure out Who's gonna score in that red zone? You gotta have some guys that's gonna make some separation. Witten is gone. Uh, 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 Dez is gone. So those are a lot of touchdowns. When that field is squeezed down, you gotta have some guys that can create that separation and go up and make that play, that 50-50 ball. And right now we don't know who that is. You know, we know Terrence Williams is is a good receiver, but he hadn't proven himself inside that red zone. You know. Uh, you know, the tight end position, we don't know who's starting the tight end, you know. And then, you know, you got Cole. Cole is not really a red zone guy. So, you know, that, that's when the game gets real tight. And we got to find out who can make that play inside that red zone.